Hello, this story, which came out of the town of Seo Gonzalo de Campos near Fiera de Santana in the state of Bahia, is about a rather terrifying cryptid that has been sighted more than once in local neighborhoods. So frightening is this thing that for the last two weeks there's been a curfew in the town. No one is to be outside after 9 p.m. The fright fest started when a man known as Pingo described seeing a five-foot-tall black monster which ran at him. Pingo turned and fled, barely escaping with his life. At first, the other villagers made fun of him until others had similar encounters. Locals are calling it a werewolf. Now, I've read opinions on news sources and blogs, and it absolutely amazes me why none of them bother to take a stand and emphatically state that werewolves are a genetic and biological impossibility. It's a fairy tale that has been fabricated from the dark recesses of human imagination and fits in nicely with mermaids and leprechauns. Having said that, I am not foolish enough to dismiss that a lot of people believe in magic and the paranormal. So having that in mind, let's look at the video itself. The first thing we see is something that appears to be walking on all fours. It looks a little strange though, almost as if it's not comfortable doing so. Could it be possible that it's a person doing this? Well, of course it is. We know that a physically fit person can do this because Micah Grusha demonstrated how he did it when hoaxing the Gable Dogman film, all he needed was a ghillie suit and his natural ability. Another thing about the subject's movements is when we get a good close-up look at it. I've read one comment that said they didn't think it could be a man in a costume because it didn't move like a person. Okay, <laughs> so then what did it move like? If it moved like a canine and it has the head of a dog, then why wouldn't it be a dog? And if it was a werewolf with a canine head in the body of a person, then why wouldn't it move like a person? And if it moved like a person, then why shouldn't we think it's a person in dark clothing with a mask on? But hey, maybe werewolves don't move like either one of them. But in that case, how does it move? Well, who knows? As to the video itself, we see some shenanigans going on, I think. I got this copy from the original YouTube upload by Carlos Costa at the highest quality possible, yet this video is highly compressed to the point where we see huge pixelations that tend to obscure any detail of the subject. When I attempted to apply editing enhancements and zoom in on it, the best I could come up with was a mix of fuzzy blobs. But then when we start out with pure garbage with very little digital information, you can't just add to it to make it clear again because it just isn't there. It only gets worse the closer you look. So why then is this so clear? You can even see some ground detail on this. Well, one explanation for this would be if the original quality had been deliberately compressed down to high detail before uploading it. But there is another explanation. I think that this wasn't filmed with a static security camera at all. I think someone was filming it in person as it happened, and here's why. In the original, we see a breeze blowing the trees around in the backyard, but would that be enough to cause a mounted camera on the house to move around? Because it is. It could be that the camera just isn't mounted securely enough to the house and it's moving around a bit, but the problem comes when we see the other part of the footage. Now, I think we can be safe in saying that we know this isn't a close-up view from video editing. It was recorded this way. Someone zoomed in on the creature at the time, and only the most expensive security systems has this ability to zoom in like this, so this tells us that it's a handheld camera. Another thing is that we can see the camera moving around, and at one point even zoom in slightly. Granted, the guy's got a steady hand or maybe is using some kind of support, but this is definitely not a homespun static security camera. Another thing we can see that tends to be suspicious is the fact that this isn't from the first part of the video. In the original, we can see the subject moving along the tree line, keeping the shade always behind it. At no time does it step into the light. 
but in the close-up, the ground is lit behind it, and we can even see the shadow of the tree. So at this point, the subject has come out into the center of the yard to make what I can only determine is a performance before the camera that is being used by someone who is obviously not afraid at all of this so-called creature. It would have been nice if the guy had offered some kind of backstory for this piece of work, but the description on his video says absolutely nothing. I am fairly secure with the opinion that it is 100% boulder dash. Thanks for watching.